Hey guys, take it Duck here, and welcome to the video. And today I am back. I am back for my break. So I was gonna say if you guys didn't notice, hopefully you noticed, because kind of awkward if not. <laughs> but uh, if you guys didn't notice, I've been away for like six weeks or so. Um, I just basically took a break from YouTube, just basically because of lack of motivation, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, but I've been doing inventions and stuff in the meantime. Um, I have a really big, like, really cool invention coming soon that I managed to break this morning, so I need to fix so that I can show you guys. Um, and yeah, but this is one I've got for you guys today, and I'm really pleased with this invention. Um, so yeah, let's just basically, I'm just going to get straight into showing you guys what it is. So what this is, is basically, it's like a pop-up boat dispenser thing. So what happens is the, okay, that didn't really show very well. But basically, the, uh, this block here in the middle gets pulled down, a boat gets put on top of it, and then pushed up. It's a little bit of a kind of fancy thing, to be honest, because yeah, I know that if you put a dispenser next to water, it dispenses a boat out into the thing, which this is, that's the mechanic that this uses. So if anyone doesn't know, a dispenser next to water with a boat in it will place the boat down like it, like that, rather than spitting out the item. But the thing is, I just wanted this because this is entirely flush with the floor, and yeah, I don't really know where this would be useful, to be honest. But, you know, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, so, basically, what happens is, you can kind of tell from the side here, the, it gets pulled down. This block here gets pulled down to uh, two blocks. And then some water gets placed, a boat gets placed, and then water taken away, and then it goes back up again. Uh, I have, hopefully, on screen now, you guys will see a cool little slideshow. So, as you can see, you've got the block fully extended, and then it comes down one block, um, and then down two again. Sorry, down one again to make down two blocks. That's just a double piston extender. Um, obviously the this uh, like sh slideshow thing I have now doesn't show you the redstone. It's just to explain what it does. And then water will be dispensed by one of the dispensers, as you can see here. The other dispenser on the other side will then dispense a boat, which actually sits weirdly above, as you can see. It doesn't sit on the block. And then the water will get pulled back again, and the blocks will then re-extend, and the boat will be on the top. So yeah, it's it's a pretty cool invention, really. It's kind of fancy. Uh, I've managed to compact it down to 4x4, four four, as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, so this is basically all the stuff you'll need to to build this. You'll need just four redstone dust. Nothing. <laughs> four redstone dust, nine redstone torches, eight redstone repeaters, one wooden button, uh, one dispenser, one stick... No, two sticky pistons. I don't know why there's only one there. Um, and also two dispensers. Um... A detector rail, some boats, and one bucket of water, and then you'll need a bunch of building blocks to go around all of the stuff. So yeah, if we just grab all of that stuff, then we can get on to the tutorial. Okay guys, so uh, as you can see here, you're going to want to dig a 4x4 four four hole in the ground to build this. It's only 4x4 four four, as I said. Um, and then this actually, this won't be floor level, so you'd have to dig down 5 if you wanted it to be in line with the floor as it's built now. Because it's actually... Uh, four underneath so then this would be the four beneath and then this would be floor level but we're not actually going to be building it in here as you can see the pink block that was here that's where your boat would be so do that if you want to build it in survival world we're not going to be building it in there just purely to save time um, we've got all of the items in this chest here so if we just pick them up we can get to building um, but yeah so the input is going to be in this bottom corner here and what you're going to do is put a block there and that will be your input so let's just stick the button on there and then what we're going to do is we're going to come to the side here and put a redstone torch here, a block here, a block here, and another redstone torch here. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run along here, and we're going to right here put a a stick piston facing up. Uh, I did actually say two stick pistons earlier. It is actually three because we have a monostable circuit here. Um, hopefully on screen it was saying three um, as like a correction. But yeah, so you put one there and then um, put a repeater here on three ticks. And yeah, so uh, that is this. Set, that's the little monostable circuit set up. Um, and then what you're going to do is put one going into this, which is four ticks and a piece of redstone dust here. Then what you're going to do is place a block on the side of this repeater here, a redstone torch on that, on the back of that block, one above it and a redstone torch on there, and then on the next to this redstone torch here, so that this redstone torch will power it, you're going to place a dispenser facing like that. Then what we're going to do is put these three blocks here, and we're going to have a uh, one tick repeater there with a piece of redstone dust, a four tick repeater next to that one tick, and a piece of redstone dust here. 
And that is the bottom layer of our thing done. And then we'll move up into the next layer. So we're going to put a uh, redstone torch there and a block above this one. And we're ready to move on to the next layer. So what we're going to do is put a block up here, a torch on top of this one, and a redstone torch here. Now these should be on at the moment, and this one should be off, and this one here should be off. Um, that's just how it is. They'll all reverse, obviously, when we hit the button. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in our two pistons, and they shouldn't have extended yet. Um, well, the bottom one should have extended, but the top one shouldn't have. And this should be, at the moment, so that this sticky piston, if you put a block on top of it, it'll be in line with this um, dispenser. So yeah, that if you've got that, you've done everything so far right. Okay, so the reason we've got this dispenser here hooked up to this piston monostable circuit is because we need this to go on and then off again. Well, we need it to get powered twice really quickly uh, in succession two times. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little thing there with a repeater on it, and we're going to put a block here, uh, on like the end of that repeater with a obviously a redstone torch on the side that'll invert the signal and then we put that there on two ticks um, that will then should be going back into this but should be turned off and this is the dispenser where we're going to put our bucket of water in now what we're going to do is come to this side and we're going to put two blocks coming off from this redstone torch with two repeaters on full four ticks uh, we're then going to put a block on the end uh, on the end of here, this is kind of hard to place, but obviously you can use shift click to place it. And a redstone torch there, that should also be turned off. And then we're going to place the defense on the side of this redstone torch, so that it's facing into just above this sticky piston here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, two blocks here, and this is the important part. This is a bit that needs the detector rail. It's a bit weird, um, but I'll explain why you need it in a second. So we're going to put the redstone dust here, and then what we're going to do is we're going that should power this piston here. We're going to put the uh, detector row here. Now what this does is this uh, like redirects this piece of redstone which means it will still be powering this piston whenever it needs to be but it actually if you leave it facing forwards like that then when this block is retracted it powers these two dispensers one more time and it will shoot out your bucket and that will obviously break it because it will have no water left and it will also waste a boat each time so don't do that and while we're here we're just going to fill up this dispenser with boats um, I'm just going to put four in because you know don't really have time and you're going to get your building blocks and put one on top of there and then obviously fill in the surroundings so i think we are done now guys so if we just go down oh sorry <laughs> i can't place blocks <laughs> it's due to due to lag so if we hit come down here and we hit this button you should see that it comes down and you get a little boat pop up um obviously there's a bit of lag so you can't really see the animation but uh, it's pretty nice uh, looking animation this uh these two pistons will pull down and pop a boat up onto the surface. And that is it. That is your pop-up boat launcher. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's a really cool invention. I am honestly really proud of it. And yeah, I am back. I will be back with at least one video a week now. Um, from now until, well, hopefully as long as I can go. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.